The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Captain Bob Smith, Director of Testing. Welcome to Botest.com. This is Smokercraft's 1866 Bass in Bay. It's an all welded hull with endurance lifetime warranty floor. You can't hurt this thing. It's a great bass boat. It's a great bay boat. Let's take some time and go through the 1866 Bass in Bay from Smokercraft. With its American Angler Series, Smokercraft takes good care of the serious angler looking for optimal durability and fishability in a small boat. Everything about the 1866 CC Bass and Bay is strictly about endurance, performance, and putting game into the box. You can battle the roughest rivers and explore the deepest wooded lakes and still feel safe and comfortable aboard this boat. With its all welded hull and no wood endurance lifetime deck, the 1866 Bass and Bay will do its job today, tomorrow, and for decades to come. The bow of the 1866 CC is rugged and ready for the trolling motor or to keep open for a high point of view to look for fish. The diamond plate provides a sure-footed surface. Just under the lip is a cargo storage net pocket for small gear and lotions. The next step down is into the Endurance No Wood Deck that has a solid grip surface that will be simple to rinse off after a hard day of fishing or hunting. A trolling motor power connection is under the front edge of the port side. If you like to sit and cast, there's a chair mount in the center for a casting chair as well as a storage locker under the deck for anchor tackle and more gear. A couple of clips in the side of this box helps make sure the bow light's easy to find when you need it. The gas tank is underneath this deck and the filler is on the port side near the center of the gunnel. The versatile seat just forward of the helm has a flip up seat back for access to the electrical panel of the helm. Lift up the seat bottom and you'll find the live well bait well with power stream aerator. Now you can't get more basic than this center console helm. Uncluttered and wide open describes it best. The five spoke wheel gives you a great tool to hang on to underway. Gauges and switches consist of a tachometer and fuel gauge and lighted rocker switches with associated push button breakers. Below the helm is open access to storage or batteries for a trolling motor or other accessories. A stainless steel grab rail wraps around the console which has a quick release smoke plexiglass windshield. Three vertical rod holders are on each side of the helm to help keep your favorite rigs ready for action. The top of the console has a wide flat space to binnacle mount a compass, GPS or other portable gear. Moving to the cockpit, you have durable rod holders for three rods, full-length metal tackle trays with vinyl edge guards, and a toe kick space below each side of the aft cockpit for increased balance and on-deck safety. You can toss your gloves, lotions, or small gear into the cargo storage pockets in the aft ends of the tackle tray unit. Across the stern are two raised casting steps divided by the engine splash well. Below the splash well are the bilge pump and other plumbing conduits. The American Angler 1866 Bass and Bay measures 18 feet length overall with an 86 inch beam. She weighs 700 pounds dry and carries 18 gallons of fuel for a good day of fishing or hunting. At first I thought I jumped on a motorized wakeboard when driving this model. She was very responsive riding on top of the water and cutting sharp turns. After running her for 30 minutes, it was fun as I developed the confidence and trust in her handling. At rest, she's a stable boat even when standing outboard on either side or the bow or stern. I found her top speed to be right at 30 miles an hour at 6,000 RPMs and her cruise speed to be 18 miles an hour at 4,000 RPMs. Her range is 119 miles at cruise on a full tank. Time to plane was 2.7 seconds and 0 to 30 was 6.5. Well, as you can see, she's a great fishing boat, whether you're out there on the rivers or lakes or even out there on the bay looking for the fish. She's going to be a good boat that you can't really hurt. And with the 90 horsepower from Honda on the back, it's running right now. You can't even hear it, so you can sneak up on them as well. Be sure and take a look at the 1866 Bassin Bay from Smokercraft.